Retrospect offers two approaches to open file backup. If you're running Windows XP or Windows 2003, we use the Microsoft Shadow Copy APIs. If you're running Windows NT or Windows 2000, Retrospect will install a driver called rof.sys on your machine. That driver allows Retrospect to take an open file snapshot of the computer and then back up open files. Open file backup options can be found in scheduled backups or in the options of an immediate backup. When we go to options and we go to more choices, we have an option for open file backup. What happens is Retrospect will wait for your disk to become idle. Once the disk has become idle for five seconds, then Retrospect will take the snapshot and then begin to copy the open files. If your disk is very active or very busy, Retrospect may report an error message that it's unable to perform an open file backup. You can avoid those errors in a couple of different ways. One is you can reduce the disk inactivity threshold. As an example, we can change it to 2500. That means Retrospect will wait two and a half seconds for the disk to become idle instead of waiting the full five seconds. Another option is this choice called Protect Multi-Volume Datasets. If you're backing up a server or a workstation that does not have databases which span multiple drive letters, then we would recommend unchecking this box. That box is really designed for someone who has a large database that may be spread across multiple hard disks.